Did you ever expect, instead of getting the Blacklight Alice in Wonderland Funko Pops, that you would get some trash? Let's talk about it. I hate to start the video off with I told you so, but we sort of told you so. Can we just take a moment to laugh at everyone that said that the Alice in Wonderland Pops would drop on Monday? And then when they didn't drop on Monday, they said that they'll drop on Wednesday. Right. And when they didn't drop on Wednesday, they said that they would drop on Friday? <laughs> <laughs> So no, your dreams didn't come true. Instead, you got a stupid Lucky Charms box. How excited are you? Before we get into this trash of a Funko Pop and read off all those awesome comments from the drop today, we want to let you know about our Patreon. Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel and get a bunch of awesome perks in return. You can win stuff like this. Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to learn more. You really think people are going to sign up for our Patreon after we just laughed at them? Well, they're not the ones who would want to sign up for our Patreon. It's the people who laughed with us, not getting mad about us laughing. You understand? Gotcha, gotcha. Well, instead of getting the Alice in Wonderland Black Light Funko Pops, we got one of those stupid foodie pops. It's a box with legs and arms. The foodie pops, in my opinion, are some of the worst Funko Pops that Funko has ever come up with. I think they're absolute garbage, and I cannot understand how anybody could like them seriously what is there to like about these stupid things well a lot of people hold attachment to like things that remind them of their childhood but like you're an adult so go buy a bag of lucky charms and eat it <laughs> well no because i think we all do exactly that we like to go back and buy retro stuff stuff that does remind us of our childhood but i want to remember like the lucky charms leprechaun not the box yeah that's really stupid speaking of which i know we're not there yet but i found a really good comment that sort of like is the same as what you just said are you ready really of course you should have just made the lucky charms mascot lol they did I, well i know i mean they made a couple of them but this might be a, a person new to Funko. And fun. they spelled mascot with a K instead of a C. They just sound totally f***ed up. They're not subscribing to our Patreon. Mm, probably not. We did collect a bunch of comments, but most of the comments that I did get around to reading today were talking about the Alice in Wonderland Blacklight Funko Pops. Everybody was hoping that they would be dropped today. They were not dropped today. They were never going to be dropped today. They were never going to be dropped this week. I've been saying for a long time, wait until July because that's the 70th anniversary of Alice in Wonderland. Yep. And it'll probably fall right on or around the exact date because that's how Funko does sh That's like, how they roll. If they release a Halloween Funko Pop, they're releasing it as close to Halloween as possible. Heather just got a tweet that says, Pop a Palooza 2021, June 30th through July 1st? I think that that's going to be like a couple days of reveals. That's what it seems like. How many reveals are we going to get this year? They're just doing it to make it fun because we never really like got this before or got much of this before. Like in recent years we have. This is crazy. It is. What if they dropped the rest of the cereal boxes with arms and legs then? What if they dropped all of the arms and legs cereal boxes but in black light? What if they dropped all of the arms and legs cereal boxes without the box and it's just the arms and the legs? What if they just dropped the box instead of the arms and legs? What if they just dropped the eyeballs? What if they just dropped the box without the pop inside of it? So like that one two pack where it was like a two pack of pops but it was only one pop and then the other one was invisible but they marketed it as two <laughs> yeah. pops and yeah. they still sold it as the same price as a two pack? I forgot all about that. That was a Brady Bunch set. Yeah. That thing was absolute trash. Well, here's my question. How far are we away from them selling Funko Pop boxes with arms and legs inside of a Funko Pop box? They're probably going to do it. So you might be asking yourself, are we going to talk about all of the other day's events like the Sylvie from Loki? And the answer is no. We're going to talk about it in tomorrow's episode. But... They put up the Rocketeer soda from Wondrous Con for a moment, and I just wanted to say that. Are you ready, Heather, for the comments of the day? Yeah! All these comments were actually taken from Dish Tracker. I can't keep up with their names. It always changed. It seems like every year we get a new name. They're just trying to stay relevant. Somebody in the comment section, I didn't grab it, but somebody said, all I care about are the Funko Pops. I don't want to know about Dish Tracks. What is this? Oh, I get it. Rap diss tracks. It's like another Eminem thing. All right, comment number one. I didn't sleep last night for this. Funko is destroying my life. I need black light now. Now! Do they really not sleep, though? I don't know. 
That's really sad if that's what their life has come to. That sh Where's the black light pops? WTF? Alice in Wonderland black light is the new Pietro. It doesn't sound right. Ready? Where's Alice in Wonderland black light? That's just way too yeah, long. Yeah, it doesn't have the same ring to it. A box in a box. How original. True, actually. Very true. All right, I actually thought this was kind of cool, although I don't think I'd still buy it. Exclusive Loki Charms variant. Do you know about the Loki Charms? Yeah. Okay, so they're saying a Loki Charms variant of this Funko Pop. Well, maybe that's the chase, but they didn't advertise it, and people are going to be shocked once people start getting their orders in, and they have a Loki Charms chase. I absolutely hate these things, but I think I would buy that only because it's attached to Loki, and I literally have... Almost everything Loki. That is just you being stupid. <laughs> That's not even a Funko. That's a mini package with two eyes. They forgot the arms and the legs. Shopkins. What are Shopkins? They're those little, like, um, things. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, that told me nothing. They're like little food items and stuff with little cutesy faces and stuff uh, and really bright colors like pinks and purples and stuff. We'll make anything and everything into a pop if they think they can make a dollar. Well, of course. They're a company. That's what they're here for. They're here to make things and to sell it to the consumers. And you know what? People are going to buy it and they're going to make lots of dollars even though it's f***ing stupid. Funko, you're killing me. Where's Alice? My anxiety can't handle it. Sounds like some people need to find a hobby. Their hobby is waiting for Funko Pops. This is a very strange one. I didn't know how to take this. It says, am I the only one to find this pop disgusting in a way? Like I get making merch of an ad icon, but of the food boxes themselves? What's disgusting about that? Maybe they think it's like taking advantage of people. But when I, when I hear disgusting, I think like gross. Me too. And I'm thinking you open the top of this thing and you pull the bag and like all the cereal out and that's like it's insides and that's what makes the thing operate. So like a Thanksgiving turkey? No, no, you're ripping the top of the box open while he's alive and you're pulling out his innards. If it really had arms and legs and walked around. But it's a Funko Pop. What are you, what is happening? But that's what I thought when I thought disgusting. I, I don't know. But you're saying it's because it's consumerism or capitalism or something. I think that they're just thinking that they're taking advantage of people. I got some comments. I have one from Facebook and then I think one more from, or a couple from Instagram. Okay, so first of all, the spam bots were back. I need boyfriend, but nobody cares. I need something big, long, hard, and durable. Where should I go? Whoa. Yeah. That's a dirty bot. Original Funko pulled a Borat today knowing damn well we all really thought it was going to be the Alice in Wonderland black light wave. You will never get this. You will never get this. <laughs> la 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 la. That's a good comment. And then our friend Eric said, they give you guys what you've actually cared about all these years, a box, and you still call it trash. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. And then my favorite comment, got 20, let's go! Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. Hashtag grail status. It was me. Oh my God. Of course it was you. So today was not the Funko Pop we were looking for. We were all hoping for the Alice in Wonderland black light set, and that did not happen. And you should have listened to us because we told you it wasn't going to happen. Can you just listen to us sometimes? Now I feel like you. Why? Because nobody listens to you? I never listen to you. My own husband doesn't listen to me. What'd you say? My own husband. Oh, I know what you're doing. Oh, man, you look dumb. <laughs> you fell right into my little trap. You're like a mouse trap. You know what you did? You did one of these. So let's hope that something awesome drops next week because obviously this week was a whole lot of nothing. I mean, really, there was a whole lot of nothing this week on FunkoShop.com. And you can't say that the cereal box from Lucky Charms was a was something, because that was nothing either. That was trash. Do you think they sold like 50 of those? Mm. For real? I don't know. I have probably two. Guys, what did you think about today's drop? And did you get one? What do you want to see next out of the foodies line? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we'd like to thank four of our patrons for all of their support. And in this video, we'd like to thank Eddie Hamill, Moondoggy16, Boomy Pops, and Trish and Raj. Thank you so much for your support and thank you to all of our patrons for your continued support.
And don't forget, head over to poppinofftoys.com for all of your Funko Pop, Funko Soda, and Funko Mystery Mini needs. They've got it all. Poppinofftoys.com. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.